Alright guys, so this here is a DIY auto generator start system. Um, I did a video a year, year and a half ago um, on, a, on a controller I built and I was going to ma manufacture it but the cost to do so would have been extremely high and way out of the market price point. I think most people thought that that was only going to cost a hundred bucks and no, it's like a twelve hundred dollar controller. This here, you know, by the time you have, you buy the parts and put your time into it, yeah, then you'll have maybe a hundred bucks into it. So, all it consists of is two of these boards and a linear actuator solenoid. And what you're going to do is you're going to use one of these boards to control your starter and that solenoid to uh, apply the choke to get the engine started and then a second one to control the ground circuit for the ignition coil and on my system um, both uh, circuits are a ground sync um, circuit okay so if you look all right so on one side you have you have three terminals one is for positive battery battery ground and then a trigger and then on the other side you have your the center is the common or your source and then the other two are one is normally closed or normally open so um, on your ground circuit for your your ignition coil you're going to use the normally closed so that when this thing cycles off that it'll make the ground killing the engine and then on your other one, you're going to use the normally open. So, you know, to start the engine, you're going to apply power to the starter and that, that choke solenoid for approximately one second. So it'll close the circuit for one second, the engine will fire up, and then that'll go off, and then it'll stay off for the remaining portion of the run. So then your, your, uh, the other board that controls your ignition cycle that that'll uh, control your your run time how long you want it to run for now there are other functions in here I think it's function 10 where um, like on your your AGS coming from your inverter your trigger if that's um, a high signal the the board will will initiate the the relay but it won't start a countdown until it goes low again so that could be your, your float mode so you could uh, um, have the have this active while that's high and then once it goes low um, you could uh, you know initiate a, a countdown for like 15 minutes a half hour for for a float mode charge but mine I just uh, I just run a 40 minute cycle and that's fairly easy to to do um i'll uh, detail that more on the on the forum so that's the basic wiring now your trigger uh to trigger these things can come from multiple sources if you have an inverter that has an ags built in then you just use uh one leg would go into the trigger um terminals of these boards and then your the other side of that goes to uh, a positive um, uh, output from your battery um, all that is the relay in your your inverter so when uh, the uh, inverter sees that you need a, a charge it'll close that circuit and then that'll um, close the circuit from your your battery to the the these relay boards and trigger trigger them now I wanted to show you now if you don't have that if you have just like that's a Harbor Freight um, inverter so this does not have a built-in AGS now you could get a thorn wave and that was my intention of the video because this was working yesterday until I uh, miswired it and I let the smoke out and it no more worky <laughs> so I had to build a, an Arduino um, controller which is fairly simple i'm going to detail that on the on the website too on the uh forum you can check out that check that out the code will be there and it's it's fairly simple it's just got one input and one output and you just program it with the code i provide 
I have a voltage uh, divider there so I got voltage coming in from my battery bank and that converts it to a 0 to 5 volt signal for my Arduino to read and then I use that um, I have a parameter set up in, in the program to trigger the, uh, the the LED output of the board to trigger the uh, the relay boards alright so now I'm going to show you how it works I got a a space heater here I'm gonna flip that on and that should put me below the uh, my threshold so you can see see this work so you'll see uh, an LED um, pop up on the Arduino and then you'll see these boards uh, begin to count down so you can hear the generator running my top one went for one second and then I'm at 2,500 seconds, which is roughly 45 minutes. All right, so we're out by the generator. As you can see, I got a, a wire lead going to the uh, the generator. That's uh, the the wiring from those the relays, the built-in relays on those boards. Okay, so I have my red and black and green here. Or the white or the power wires going to the board so the red and black is the uh, the power wires um, to power the boards and this green wire is for the ground circuit um, on the relays all right so now here I just mounted up a, uh, a push solenoid made a little pusher bar to push my choke just shut that off a minute um, when this engine is vibrating that that'll come back all right so let me get a better shot of this because I had to put a guide on there because that that'll just spin right so you can see I've been a piece of steel around the body of it so that it can't it can't <clears throat> twist around so it has to stay there and you can see it's pushing my choke or closed and then I got a return spring um, pushing it back All right, so what I'm doing is I got my power wires to my battery and then um, The relay is closing the ground circuit. So the ground side of this um, wire So that's pretty easy Now in my generator, I got a two wire solenoid and when you hit the switch that closes the ground circuit of the solenoid so as you can see, as I, I tapped into the, the ground side of the switch, and when my relay closes, it completes the ground circuit to the solenoid, and the, the solenoid will fire. Now if you see this yellow wire, that goes to the low, low oil pressure, or low oil sensor of the engine. Most modern generators have that. So that's the, the wire you're looking for and it's always right there in the side of the engine and I simply did the same thing spliced into that and that's just connected to the the ground the coil ground so when your your engine is low on oil and that triggers that closes that circuit and grounds the coil out the engine stops so same concept with ours is we're closing the ground um, with the, the relay so it's pretty straightforward. So just so you can see how it works out here, I got the, I brung this out, I got an extension cord going out the side of the RV. So you can see the, so I'm gonna flip this on. Alright, so I'll uh, detail this a little more on the form, so uh, check that out. I'll leave a link to that in the description as well. Alright, have a great day. Thanks.